Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said that the Prophet sallam, he said, I was attending the Prophet sallam gathering and I heard the Prophet sallam saying, there are no days in which good deeds are greater or more beloved to Allah than on these 10 days. Yani the hijjah So recite much as you can. Tahleel. Yani saying la ilaha illallah. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. And Tahmeed saying Alhamdulillah. Reported by Imam Ahmad rahimahullah ta'ala. Because of this you'll find a lot of earlier scholars like Sa'id ibn Jubayr. كانت إذا دخلت العشر الأول من ذي الحجة اجتهد في العبادة اجتهادا حتى ما يكاد يقدر عليه يعني he will exhaust himself سعيد بن جبير in the war in the act of worship during these 10 days to the max to the extent that he can't يعني he can't take it by the end of the 10 days he's completely uh, 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 basically exhausted I'm wondering if the 10 days of the الحجة this year will be any different then the last 10 days of previous month. I'm wondering if the next week will be any different than this week that we just about to finish. I'm wondering if this weekend will be in any different than the previous weekends. Are we going to change anything in our life to show ourselves and our Lord that these ahadith that we hear and these reminders that we hear in the khutbah and every Jum'ah will change anything in our life? will move us a little bit to be better in any area. And the ahadith are very interesting. It's either so generous, so general, telling you any deed, so you pick and choose, or give you example of the most easiest one, which is, subhanallah, uh, saying, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. There is no doubt among the best you can do during these days, as salat, especially praying salat on time. Don't delay. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Afdal al-salat al-salatu ala awwal waqtiha." Fi hadith Abdullah ibn Amr, he said, "The Prophet ﷺ said that the best salah, as Ibn Mas'ud and Abdullah ibn Abdul As and others, that the best salah is the one that you perform in the beginning of the time, especially if you do it in congregation with the masjid, and you come early to the masjid and you sit a little bit before the salah start. Something you can care for to do it as a something." Extra you do during these 10 days. When Thawban radiallahu anhu asked the Prophet sallam, how can I, basically when I go to Jannah, how can I raise my level up high to Jannah? كيف يعني يتقرب من النبي صلى الله عليه في الجنة? سؤال يسأله كل أحد. Everybody asked this question. How can I be close to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم rank in Jannah? فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم, أعني على نفسك بكثرة السجود. عليك بالسجود. فإنك لا تسجد لله سجدة. إلا رفعك الله بها درجة وحط عنك بها خطيئة والحديث في صحيح مسلم He said to him He want to reach that high level Help yourself by what? By offering a lot of sujood يعني a lot of salah Every time you prostrate to Allah Allah elevate you one level Raise you one level in Jannah And take one of your sins away That's why Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه أرضى كانت إذا دخلت العشر اجتهد اجتهادا حتى ما يك... اجتهادا طويلا وكان يقول لا تطفئوا سرجكم ليالي العشر ابن عباس when the 10 days of the hijjah start he will spend a lot of time praying and he said don't turn off your lights what that means turn, don't turn off your light when you go to sleep so you don't go into too deep sleep and you miss most of the night sleeping keep the light on so you can wake up soon you just take a short nap during the night and basically pray most of the night that's what he used to do radiallahu an one of the great deeds you can do as well is fasting during the 10 the, the nine days of the hijjah uh, the ninth which is arafah which is going to be sunday is the most important day because that's the most recommended one and the prophet did it and the prophet recommended us to do it and emphasis in the importance of it what about other than the ninth? Can we fast during the nine days? It is permissible, as generally speaking, any good deeds during this ten, day, ten days are recommended. The only day you're not allowed to fast is the day of Eid, and three days after it. You're not allowed to, to fast these four days. But before that, you can. Did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam fasted the nine days of the hijjah Did he ever fasted the nine days of the hijjah what we know, what Aisha radiallahu anha told us, 
ما صام النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم العشر قط. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم was not reported that he fasted these days. He, she said he never fasted the ten days. Some ulama said maybe she meant يعني the day of Eid. The ten, ما صام العشر, he didn't fast the ten, meant she meant the tenth day, but not to negate that he fasted before that. We have in the other hand hadith Hunaydah um Khalid that in the Sunan, but it's weak that the Nabi Sallallahu never missed fasting the nine days of the Hijjah, the first nine days of the Hijjah. But we found many companions used to fast. Many of the Salaf, the early generation, used to fast the first nine days of the Hijjah. And among them, the one who followed the Prophet Sallallahu the most, Abdullah ibn, Amr, ibn Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an wa arda. So it is recommended for us, as many scholars said, to care for fasting during these nine days, 